I don't have a hidden message. I like looking at life. Life is very beautiful to me. If I can convey that to you, if I can make you look at a thing and say, wow, I never thought that that was a particularly good looking thing, then I'm very successful in it. Or if I can do something that is something that you've never looked at before, or that I've never looked at before, then we're both growing on it. When I go out, I try very hard not to predetermine what I'm gonna do. And I wanna go out as unprepared as possible so that I can get filled up with what the world has to offer. And the more I can be influenced by what's around me, the more fun it is for me. The most significant thing about Jay's work, honestly, is that his work is as purely and simply about the joy of seeing as it can be. It's just about absolutely appreciating the fact that God gave him eyeballs to see stuff, and he has this sense that's just, look how amazing this is. There are over 138 million children without mothers, fathers, sisters, or brothers. So I turned around and I looked outside. I saw my mom ride her bike away. I saw her just leave me there. 138 million stories of despair and neglect. The top of one of her ears and her head had been chewed on by rats or some sort of animal. Um, she was in the hospital, they tell me, for about probably almost six weeks. They, they thought she was going to die. They are lost, alone. Theirs is a world without advocacy, without dreams. For them, the world is not created by imagination and joy, but rejection and loneliness. Once they leave the orphanage, their situation only worsens. Crime, Poverty and prostitution are among the few options available to them. There is happiness. There is a world where their experiences are created by love, not suffering. These are stories of transformation. These are stories of hope and family. you know, about your child, what they'll look like and, and what kind of a person they'll be and whether they'll be a boy or a girl. And some of those things, you you know, in anticipation of adoption, when you get a picture at least and, and that sort of thing, but there's still all the unknowns of what kind of a person. There's anxiety and there's anticipation both um, about that. But the moment that they hand you your infant, when you've delivered a baby, to me, feels just the same as when they've handed me each one of my kids. It's the same feeling that you know this is your child. And it doesn't, it doesn't have to come from your body. It, they're more like a child of your heart because you just know that they're meant to be yours. And whether God chose to have you deliver them physically or if he put them in your heart, and it's, the attachment is the same. The feeling is the same. The love's the same. It's always a special day when you meet your child for the first time face to face. So, a very, very, very exciting day. Very blessed. <laughs> people tell you, oh, you're such great people for adopting and all this stuff, but to be honest with you, I, I do it for me as, as much as for them because they, they fill our, our lives with with laughter and joy and love and you know to me there's there's no greater feeling than than, than having a child that, that loves you and needs you it just uh, gives me a great feeling of worth I think this is a, a lucky day for him I really do his uh, his life here versus what it's going to be like in, in, in the United States is going to be totally totally different <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
We're going to visit the orphanage today and I think um, my desire is to see where Austin lived for the first years of his life. But I, I think it's going to be difficult. I've never been in an orphanage before, so this is a new experience for me and I think it's going to be hard. I mean emotionally it'll be hard to see all the kids. It's very sad. It's hard to even talk about. It's, you just want to scoop them all up and take them home. It's, it's very, very sad. It was very hard for him. It was very hard for me. And it was very hard for Caitlin, my daughter. She was in tears. It's a very sad existence for the children. And I think that the nannies do care about the kids, but their resources are so poor and the situation so poor that there's only so much they can do. And so you just wish there was something you could do to change it. But I'm very thankful he'll never have to be there again. It's hard to think that he was ever there, sitting, just sitting there in a bed. It's very hard to imagine. I'm so glad he's not there anymore. There's no way to measure what a child can bring to a family, both with their personality and the gifts that God's given them, that they'll be able to share with their brothers and sisters and their moms and their dads. They're each a gift, and everything that they bring to you is a gift. <laughs> Strong, exciting, amazing, amazing, blessing from God, faith, complete, God sent, life changing. That's three. No, that's no, two. That's two. <laughs> it's got a hyphen in the middle. I realized that you no, know, it's something I need to be proud of and happy for because I am able to have a different life and one of the greatest lives that God could give me. Miracle. Awesome. Gratitude. Loving. If you could just give a child a home or some place where they won't feel scared anymore, that's the biggest thing I think you could ever do. I have a family. Family. When you adopt, or when you help someone adopt, you are offering these children a permanent solution. You can give hope for children.